My grandma described it as this, every time I walk out of a morning, I see gold, and it's the pigs that she's referring to. These are my gold bars. Grandmothers in Kenya very often carry the burden of raising children, up to 10, can be even more grandchildren that they'll be responsible for. And we're talking about women that indeed are usually in their mid-70s. One Horizon starts working with them in a collaborative relationship that says, okay, if you develop the chicken coops or the pig pens, we'll supply the pigs and feed and the training. And these women are then responsible for nurturing the pigs and the chickens through to productivity stage. That means within eight months, once that first litter is born, that's when it's game on. Suddenly they've got this business and One Horizon also has relationships with some of the major distributors and it also provides a ready market. Suddenly they've got something that's going to produce income to buy food. This is the way that they can finally rid themselves of the shackles of poverty. And the grandmas are so delighted because they can see this light at the end of the tunnel, this long life of poverty. And it's amazing the transformation that occurs in the grandma. Suddenly the big problem about the anxiety and the fear starts to evaporate. And they see what's happening and they know how close they are and then it happens for them and their life just changes. These women also gain more self-respect. Yeah, they're not beholding on others. And there's some really fierce entrepreneurs there amongst the grandmas, and, and that's what we want. One of the things that One Horizon does as part of the agreement with the grandmas is to say, we will take from your litters to restock other communities or to stock other communities. This is actually self-generating from all the farms that are out there. And of course, the grandmas are only too happy to give a pig back. You know, they give you more, and we have to say, no, 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 um, one pig's ample. Um, you know, we very often at the end of the day say, guess what, we're in our car, we've got three pigs, who's taking them home tonight? <laughs> there are 10 pigs or whatever it is. So the self-sustainability and the sustainability of the tourism theme, uh, which is embodied in those type of programs, it's self-perpetuating. And, you know, local communities actually understand that. They love us involved because they know things are going to grow and things are going to happen. The most traumatic period for One Horizon comes when it has to say to a grandma, you're okay, and the umbilical cord no longer needs to be attached. And we always joke with the grandmothers that we're going to come back to you for a loan because you're looking pretty good these days. Yeah? And they laugh about that, but that, that's the most traumatic period for us. You know? We form these, and One Horizons gets formed these associations with people. Marvellous, wonderful people that we have to say, it's time for us to move on and for you to move on, yeah? And, um, and so that's the moving part of the experience, but one which we embrace.